page one at number 10 and number five. Uh, don't underestimate, uh, don't underestimate that. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go in and let's find and let's find a, something that is a PDF file. There we go. We'll just use this and it's an AdSense, it's an AdSense back now book and that's a PDF file. So images, PDFs, upload them but folks you got to see oh, uh, oh man it is so critical you'll never understand so uh, you can change the title here uh, well yeah I'll do that we'll, we'll say that's a title and a caption uh, is AdSense ebook and then what we will there's some free CEO advice People with AdSense or selling AdSense ebooks, you just got some free CEO advice. Pay attention to what you see here. <laughs> I'm the CEO. Why do I have to whisper? <laughs> right. So uh, I'll probably cut this video myself. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Uh, uh, AdSense back now. So we'll we'll uh, uh, do this. You just got some free sale. So uh, there we'll go. We'll, we'll say that. So make sure you fill out the title. Make sure you fill out the caption uh, in this. So <clears throat> let me. Uh, oh, I can't go there. Exactly. <laughs> I'm being watched. <laughs> so here you go. Now we've uploaded an image. Uh, now we've uploaded a uh, PDF file. So what we're going to do? Uh, let's uh, let's view the image first, and then we'll we'll deal with videos. So what you want to make sure is a that the link works I really believe you need to check out WordPress CO I would stay away I uh, can't go there anyway so uh, you have to actually click this thing twice so what we're saying and we said another video tutorial uh, it, if you put this image in the sidebar and we showed you how to do that in our sidebar series make sure you don't put this link in here click it because you want the direct link remember that now we're not going to use that we just want to view it so with the PDF watch this so here's the PDF if you want to give people a link to a brochure a marketing brochure or or you want them to have a free ebook or something or you're selling it, you but this you have to click twice folks this is what they need if you don't use a file uh, file download site which we recommend it to you we won't say why but we really think you need to consider that uh, check out our sidebar tutorial uh, this is the real <coughs> book this is your real document address this is your document address and what you will find is the ebook will pop right open if you give people this address and this is exactly what we're going to do just for uh, the purposes of what we are trying to teach you so again please don't give people this link click this you, you want to view the image and then you want to open up don't do this please I'm begging you because this is confusing this doesn't tell people what they need to do some people will know they need to click on a link but most won't so please take my advice uh, as it deals with your media <coughs> library so before we go into videos what we're going to do uh, real quick is we'll, we'll just go back to the post uh, that we already set up and we'll just uh, we'll just open this up and we will show you the value of what we are trying to uh, uh, teach you so let's just assume that this is the post you wanted to stick the image in you can stick it in uh, post or page so what you want to do remember we want you to use tables we don't want you just to insert images make your site look as good as possible uh, so what you want to do if you want to insert an image and a link is you would put one here and leave two here so it's one column but two rows this way so your alignment is going to be center and then you're going to insert that so here we are again uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to upload insert we're going to left click that and what you want to do is from media library you want to select the image you want to uh, well just go to show that's easiest uh, you will see this image you will see this image and what you will do what you will do 
is you will go down and select the image size you want we think medium is good you will insert it into you will insert that into your post and it'll go it'll drop directly in the table uh, the next thing that you want to do again when you're inserting media is click on the next row uh, type uh, whatever your message is whatever your call to action is you want to highlight well you just want to highlight the text center it make sure the font size is big enough so they can see it then remember you want to click on the ebook or whatever download you want to click on it twice and make sure that they can open it remember go to view you will go to a page and then you will click now using URLs for this is folks wow we just we wouldn't do that but uh, you know we're going to just show you basic setup so uh, and BAM there you go remember remember this use royal blue when you're doing links so uh, we think <clears throat> what we'll do now is we have this inserted we want to update this we're assuming you created the post of the page and you just want to insert the media uh, this is what you will do <clears throat> you will and then you will go uh, view the post or view the page just to see if it meets uh, your requirements boom there you go I mean it's that easy now when when I'm looking at that I think that that the image is kind of big it's kind of obnoxious in my opinion so you want to left click here and right here you can adjust the image size you can adjust it and we'll say 70 percent which makes it smaller uh, easier to e easier on the eyes we think anyway so let's update that and then we will uh, view the post and there you go so remember that remember we put the link in BAM there it is there your free there your free download is now whether I would host it on so that's a whole nother video but uh, take just learn with WordPress CO uh, folks so uh, we set that up so let's go back uh, let's go back to media and what we've just done uh, what we just done is we uploaded files into our media library and if you remember in our sidebar series we showed you how to put these in to sidebar so now that we have that now there's another thing <clears throat> there's there's something else that you can do uh, and we believe let's uh, <sighs> oh, we don't have a video that small uh, we don't have a video that small but uh, you can upload uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's go ahead and see if we can rock that I think we might have a file here somewhere yeah we have a file here somewhere we're gonna show you something that you really need to see and unfortunately uh, we don't have uh, well let's use a SOPA let's use a SOPA file now this is what you see SOPA WMV exceeds the maximum upload size for this site uh, on your WordPress <coughs> media uh, the limit uh, the limit the default limit is 10 megabytes is a 10 megabyte uh, is a 10 megabyte video and let us show you let us show you what that may entail uh, as far as time uh, time limits go there's a SOPA video okay we have some very very short commercials here and these are like uh, 30 yeah these are like 30 seconds we believe so uh, uh, so the deal is uh, 10 megabytes is about 20 to 30 seconds basically of uncompressed oh that's a minute 15 so that's about uh, 20 20 to 30 seconds of uncompressed videos for those of you who have Bluehost as a search provider what you want to do uh, what you want to do is go to Bluehost and go to the live chat feature and if you are into videos or you're going to upload like ebooks that you've inserted videos into sound or images that you don't want to compress you want to go to Bluehost and you want to go to the live chat feature and ask those people to increase your upload media limit again increase your upload media limit uh, they let us go all the way up to a hundred gigs uh, no oh, sorry a hundred megabytes a hundred megabytes uh, there is another feature uh, there is another way to insert your own media on your uh, 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 
on your uh, uh, site uh, and we go into that in the WordPress CO series and the logic of that so now that uh, now that we uh, have given you a quick overview of media we got one more thing that we have to tell you and we'll be done here um, <coughs> when it comes to uh, when it comes to uploading uh, media what we will say is this is that you have to ask yourself the question and you will avoid a lot of headaches you have to ask yourself the question question if you need uh, images that are as high resolution as you believe you need and that's all we'll say also with this when it's unattached uh, basically it's not being used inside of a post or it's not attached really uh, directly to a post so you want to just go through and check and see what's attached and and what's uh, not attached so uh, folks that ends your video tutorial on the media function inside of your WordPress website